Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today as we are on the map Gresvin, the AI edition. And we have another one of these bot author recommended replays. So someone that actually programs one of these bots said this is a cool game and threw it out there. So we're gonna see how well these two do against each other. It's been a while or I don't cast as many of its games as I used to. It's tier T. Tier uh, fun to watch Terran bot and taking on tier T is gonna be a new Protoss bot. However, it's got multiple variants, Zerg and Terran, I believe it's Demosha P. I hope I'm pronouncing that one right. And so another Protoss bot. Hooray for that. And we will see how well it's going to do against Tyr today. As, uh, yeah, Protoss bots are always a treat to watch. So ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy these videos, you guys are the best at it. Make sure to go ahead and click that like button. Looks like a thumb if you're new to YouTube. Leave a comment down below saying more bots if you want to see more of these bots. And then join the Discord, which is linked down below. Consider becoming a YouTube member if you want to support the channel. I'm gonna be uh, gonna be going away for some training for a new job in August, so I'm gonna try and get as many videos backpiled as I can before then. And uh, yeah, now we have got an SCV scout for tier, so making sure there's no cheese. That is the sign of a good bot, is that they they check for proxies and that kind of thing because. In the early days of the in the early days of the botting scene, there was a lot of proxies and whatnot. So now we have got the first Reaper out for tier, and then just getting up a reactor command center against a Nexus. So macro builds across the board here. That's nice to see. Tier has an SCV just chilling out here. I wonder if it's gonna build a bunker or something else. It's just the slacker as far as all the other workers are concerned speed mining for both these bots it looks like reaper now in the main base for demosha i believe tier is just one of the bots that strictly uses the reaper to scout out however so it's not going to try and get any workers it just gets the information sees the forge and continues on its way. I'm not sure if there's going to be any reaction from such a late forge scout at all. As I mean, usually you see a forge at the like one minute mark and you're like, oh dear, oh dear. However, this is just a three minute forge. So potentially going to be for a very fast plus one or just some defensive cannons from Demosha. We'll see if that's going to be the case or not. It's now getting up a Twilight Council behind this Twilight and plus one. So... We'll see what build it's going to go for. If we see Blink Stalkers, that would be very cool. It would not be an easy thing to program, I imagine. Of course, there's also the possibility of DTs, something like that. A DT bot would be interesting. I mean, Static Defense does deal with the DTs. At the same time, it's been proven through all the Zerg bots that Terran bots having to scan <laughs> is a problem. It's not an easy thing to program. So who knows, maybe there is wiggle room to make a bot that abuses that. However, we are just seeing Blink on the way for Demosha. Cool to see that. Robo on the way. Getting out a Zealot for now. And yeah, just macroing up. Now, it is going to be going up against what looks like it will be a bio push from Tier. We'll see if it can defend against this. As there is Stim Combat Shield on the way. This is the kind of build that... A pro Terran does in the GSL. Three racks plays are incredibly strong. Now, Demosha is getting up a third base, getting up a robo. It could be a little bit vulnerable with all this commitment to tech. However, it does have the cannon and the battery up at the front. Getting an immortal on the way is very important. And the, yeah, this game is a very respectable opening. Now, Probes just being produced, plus one, almost done for Demosha. So we'll see if it rolls that into plus two, potentially, or armor. 
It will have the upgrade lead. That's going to be important. I wouldn't mind armor. Just to make the units a little tankier. Although Protoss traditionally does tend to go for the attack over the defense. Reaper jumps into the main base, gonna scout for Tyr, just starts shooting this robo, and Immortal says, get out of here. Demosha throws up a fourth base right as this bio ball is running on in, so I don't think that fourth is gonna be long for this world. We'll see if it's kill or a cancel. Stalkers are engaging, but so far everything is dying for Demosha. That Immortal is down gonna be the target of this attack. Is there gonna be a battery overcharge? Battery overcharge is very good. However, Tyr is gonna target that down. Now the Immortal can potentially be killed, however, it did get juiced up, so it's got to be have its shields take it down once more. But oh man, this is not looking too good for Demosha as it has to pull probes against this. The cannon is not a target though, so that's actually very funny. Tyr is completely just bypassing cannons. And it's going for all the workers that it can get, and boy oh boy, it's grabbing quite a few of them as it rallies more and more bio across the map. Another battery wants to get started up. Yeah, the fact that Tyr is just ignoring this cannon is a big mistake. Attempted battery gets shut down. The targeting on the workers is good, but it's so funny how it targets the battery, kills all the units, and is like, Photon what? <laughs> Tyr seems to have a bit of a hole there. Now, that attack, I mean, it did well. However, I don't think it did well enough. The fourth base, that did not get canceled even though it, or killed, even though it got super duper close. And as a result, the Moshe's incredibly greedy fourth base is going to be gotten away with. Tyr is just now landing its third base. So going to be behind on the economy, even though it killed, I mean, 17 probes, no small amount. Imagine if it had just killed that cannon. That cannon killed 11 units. It is a hero in its own right. Now, Templar Archives is on the way for Demosha, getting up charge, a Stargate, all the Protoss tech, all the fun toys to play with, and then just gonna have a strong economy to back it up tier. Gonna have to power up for another attack, potentially. Tier is at least getting up its own fourth, so we will see a macro game with a fifth now on the way for Demosha. Incredible macro. These bots, they when they're in an expanding mood, they will take the whole map in just minutes. And so we're seeing Tyr get up its own base. Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned for the Terran bot that it didn't get more damage done. And then just the fact that Demosha is going into this scary late game Protoss composition. It's playing like I play on the ladder, kind of. Just uh, turtling up, getting up the abusive abilities like Psy Storm, the Colossus are darn good too. And yeah, I'm not sure if we actually saw any blink, any blinks used in there, but uh, it did get blink. So now we have got an adept warping in, a high templar warping in, lots of probes being made still. The five bases will be no joke. Interesting to look at the worker management. It is 83, so all these bases are pretty well saturated except for the new one for Demosha. So it's just going to start making workers, sending them that way. Fires up six, seven gateways. It wants all the production out, and it's going to have all the production. Make that eight gateways, because seven wasn't enough. Nine gateways. Oh my gosh, this Protoss bot is just able to make so much stuff. And this is the effect of the speed mining, guys. Like, this is five bases more becomes like six. 88 workers is probably almost like closer to 100 it feels like. So the Protoss can't afford to make a ton of stuff. I am a little bit concerned that it's not making that much army though, whereas Tyr is making just a boatload of stuff. So Demotion could be falling into the common Protoss trap or just the common Starcraft trap of making too much stuff and not enough guys that fight. And we'll see if it's going to be able to hold on. It does have three High Templar, four High Templar, pardon me, loaded up with Psy Storm. So Tyr could potentially just get stormed into Oblivion, into a bunch of Tyrs. Now the Fleet Beacon's about to finish up for Demosha. Tyr's coming on in. The tanks could be big as far as helping out with this goes. But man, oh man, I am concerned about the Psy Storm. Tyr is going to push up to a ramp of death. Is there going to be Storm getting utilized? There's the storm's instant spread by Tyr. That is just beautiful, the spread instantaneously happening. But the storm, it is instant damage. And man, oh man, that was an annihilation by Demosha, showing us that it's got macro chops. And 
As a result, Tyr is going to get pushed all the way home. That size storm was just instantaneously, instantaneous. The splits by Tyr were cool to see, but I don't know how effective they actually were. Tyr is now having to remake a lot of units. It's got 2-2 on the way. However, it's currently up against plus 3 attack Protoss. The bio can try and do what it can. However, I think it's going to need to split out. If there's more size storm, there's going to be trouble. Only a feedback goes down. No storm yet. And so the bio is actually doing pretty well, just charging on top of this Protoss army. Gobbles it up. There's the storm. The bio gets divided. However, Demosha does not actually have that much stuff in this attack. It has a lot of units back at home. The stalkers are blinking, which is cool to see. Tear holds on with that counterattack. Now got a fifth base on the way. And so it can remax. I'm still thinking the Protoss composition is a million times better, though. With a Colossus in the mix, more Psy Storm on the way. I mean... There isn't more Colossus being added. It did just make one. I'd love to see more of those. It's not made... I mean, it's only got a few High Templar. Four once more. There's a chance that Tyr can pull something off here. I, still, though, I, I do like the Psy Storm. We saw how good it was. And if bots are known for one thing, it's not adapting their play. So Tyr's just going to come on in once again. We'll see if it gets stormed into Oblivion once more. There's no ghosts in the mix with this 4 EMPs. The Protoss bot, though, is moving across the map. All the while, Tyr is going for an attack, so we could be entering a bit of a base trade. And, yeah, that Protoss bot stepping forward, cutting up this base. All the while, Tyr is now moving forward. And a base trade could be good for the Terran. We see a bunch of Zealots attempting to warp in. That's not going to happen. More and more are being warped on in. There is now Tempest about to pop out for the Protoss. However, a supply block hits. And I'm not sure if there's going to be an unsupply block coming. The Protoss ground army is pushing on in. Killed off that fifth base. However, it's taking its time moving on in tier. Now clearing out the six. The Protoss bot being knocked down only to two bases. The Tempest and an Immortal are trying to defend the front. Targeting down those Medivax is big. This one cannon has actually taken some damage up to 13 kills though. Looks like it will end up falling. And Vikings are coming on in to deal with the Tempest. So they're not going to they're not gonna cut it here. And we are in a full on base trade. What a crazy match between these two. I think things are looking pretty good for the Terran bot right now. As it does clear out the natural base. It's still got its main. It's got a tank on the high ground. That's nice. Anything that it can pick off. And the tank is doing well for itself till it goes down. The Terran bot has got a command center to the north. A command center building to the south. The Protoss bot losing its natural base now. And then the third base is still mining for the Protoss. However, it... Uh, all that tech it invested in is going to be going to be useless supply wise though the protoss is still doing much better for itself we'll see how all these bots are going to do in the base trade scenario i think the toss needs to come home but i mean nobody programs their bot for a base trade situation like this it's good they're both attacking but will they ever come home to defend i don't know about that as uh, it's a rarely encountered situation. We got SCVs still running all over the place. Both these bots mining, both these bots building. Looks like Demosha falling into the trap of trying to get more workers to the main base that's been gutted. The bio for tier is still running all over the place. We see plus three armor researching in the middle of this. So the Terran is slowing down on killing all this production. The Protoss almost cleared out the Terran's main base. The supply is really in the lead for the Protoss at this point, so maybe it is going to get away with this one. Like, yeah, I'm not sure if Tyr is going to be able to clear all this out by the time the Protoss comes home, if it comes home. We do have neither of these bases getting scouted yet. SCVs could be traitors here, though. You do not want to reveal your home base, my guy. And then, once again, a lot of these bots are good with redundancy. But I'm not sure if they have the redundancy to come back from, say, being cripplingly supply blocked like Tyr. Or whether they have the redundancy to rebuild their base after a base trade scenario. So I think things are looking really good for Demosha at this point. Tyr's attack was strong. It's now going to kill off that natural nexus once again. But this third's still alive for the Protoss. The Toss army is actually coming back. I mean, the plus three armor is not going to happen in time, I don't think. I don't think it matters, though. The Protoss army is so much bigger. The Terran can try and hold that top ramp. Colossus shooting away. Will get stemmed on and not taken down because the Terran army changes focus, trying to get those High Templar on the low ground, it looks like. 
And so the bot tier, I think, will be the loser here as there's now a zealot and a stalker finding this last bastion of tier. Tier did actually get unsupply blocked as it started rebuilding. It said, we will rebuild with only four workers. I think that's got to be it, though. The Protoss still got a mining third base. Can potentially come back. We'll see if it gets some more Nexuses. Nexi at some point. Looks like this command center will go down. And then it's just that one up top here. Tier is trying to get all the extra racks going. It's really trying. Mule just doing its thing. An attempt at a refinery next to a burning command center. Demosha still just hanging out for now, though. But this base will burn. Tears like, okay, I guess I'm on one base now. The Protoss is moving out, looking for this final base. And yeah, I think it's just a slow death at this point for Tier. Ladies and gentlemen, great showing by Demotia in this game. If you want to see more Demotia games, go ahead and leave a comment down below saying more bots. Join the Discord, which is linked down below. Click that like button before you head on out. And I will see you guys next time. This was, this was a really fun game. Thanks to the bot author for recommending it. Stalkers come on in, kill everything off, and that was it. Base trade. GG.